What is going on everybody? Cody here and as always this is Let's Talk About Sense. Today we are jumping right into this one. We are going to be talking about the beautiful and well presented Broken Anatomy. Look at the presentation on this bottle. As you can tell from first glances you are guaranteed to fall in love with the craftsmanship and just the absolute amazing quality of these bottles. So, huge thank you to creators of Broken Anatomy, um, Ryan and his wife Liberty. Thank you so very much for making these amazing creations and sending them over to my full and unbiased review. All right, so, little backstory on Broken Anatomy. Broken Anatomy is an Arizona-based brand created by Ryan Handis and his wife Liberty. Both Ryan and his wife Liberty hold careers in the emergency medical field, helping people who are broken inside and out just after a deep passion with perfume collided with their own understanding of what it means to hurt Broken Anatomy perfumes was born. Super great backstory. Love that they're willing to help people and this is kind of like an ode and a testament to what they do in every day. And you notice right there it's got the the brain as the cap and then everything just speaks to warmth and comfort in their fragrances and I have noticed that. That could just be with what I've what I've experienced with the two that I have here. But it brings a very nostalgic, um, very memory-based warmth and comfort. Super great. So, with that being said, the first one we're going to talk about right here is this full 50 milliliter bottle that I was sent over. It's called Burnt Remedy. So, notes in this one are going to be Hay Absolute, Propolis, Smoked Cashmere, Vetiver, Wet Tobacco Leaves, and Chocolate. Right off the opening, there's a little bit of spice to it in the background. Not entirely sure what the spice is coming from. Could be the could be the vetiver. Um, could be something to do with the propolis. But initially, right after that very tad spiciness goes away, you have this very dry hay. Um, from the hay absolute very dry hay smell and almost has a tea quality smells like a like a fresh like sweet tea then the um, hay absolute also carries a cocoa note in it so that is blending really well with this chocolate this very rich sweet chocolate that starts coming through on top blending really well with that hay and tea and then there is a very r dark resinous quality that you're going to get from that propolis that comes through. Starts blending really well with that hay, creating this very rugged earthiness. And then, of course, with that vetiver, tobacco leaves, smoked cashmere, it all starts creating this very smoky, musky, earthy smell. Blends really well with the rich sweetness of that chocolate and that very dry, rugged um, hay quality. So you have a very dry, tea-like hay, sweet, rich, dark chocolate, and then very smoky, earthy musk from the cashmere vetiver and the wet tobacco leaves. Beautiful, beautiful fall fragrance makes you think fall from the initial spray. This has been a huge fall staple for me. I've been wearing this one non-stop. Colder weather, dry wet leaves coming out. This right here absolutely projects in this fall weather. Beautiful. Scent trails are maximum. I'm getting 14 plus hours on my skin of this fragrance right here. I get up on a daily basis to go to work. I get up every morning around 3, 3.30 a.m. As soon as I'm out of the, sh the shower a little after four, this is going on my skin. By the time I go to bed, I'm still smelling this. You can still smell it walking through the doors. 
which is perfect because this fragrance right here was supposed to be him being burnt out from a job that he was doing, putting out fires, and he come home and he would never forget the way that his wife smelled and she would never forget the way that he smelled. So, perfect huge ode to that. Leaving hard day's work, have this smell on you, come home, still have that smell. So, kudos, man, to pulling that off. Super great. So, love that one. The other one that we have that we got from, from Ryan here, I did have an accident with it. So, bottle fell out of the bottom of the box. Luckily, we got a good couple of days of a smell session out on this one because this is the newest unreleased one from Ryan so far. This is called Dark Matter. Bottle busted. So sad when it busted. But, dear God, if my little studio here that I shoot all these videos in, it smelt for at least two or three weeks now. I mean, it has been every single time I come out here, it smells like this. So, super long lasting, great longevity, and the scent just absolutely lingers. I just got a little spray out of it. There was still some left in the nozzle there, so we've got a little bit on the top of our arm here. Dark matter. So, notes on this one are going to be red mandarin, coffee absolute, rock rose, patchouli, tonka bean, labdanum, jasmine, ambergris, castorium, and fossilized amber. This right here, as Ryan said to me, is a cup of coffee on a Christmas morning, and he could not be more correct. That is exactly what it reminds you of. That's what I was talking about with the nostalgia. It is a very, I mean, it's in the name, dark matter. It is a very dark, intense, very sharp, dark roasted cup of coffee. Right here, it is a chippery, so it has a ton of uh, coniferous notes in it. So, almost like that, you know, you think fir trees, you think all of the pine needles, you think everything around that Christmas time, those pine trees, that resinous quality, and then dark cups of coffee. Basically, just reminding you of all of those green and warm qualities of Christmas. It is in this bottle. So, for me, I get... I get kind of an intense, sharp sweetness off the start from the Red Mandarin, but I'm telling you, it lasts maybe a couple of seconds, and then you are hit with a dark, roasted, warm cup of coffee. There is a very, very strong, almost honey, resinous-like quality, I think, from the Rock Rose. And then you get, of course, the dark, strong, earthy qualities of the patchouli, the ambergris, the castorium, and then, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that fossilized amber could be causing that pine-like quality. I know that I've dealt a lot with um, fragrances that's had amber in it. A lot of them offer, you know, that very caramelized sweetness. But I feel like this one, a lot of that coniferous, a lot of that pine and um, fur or pine needle smell could be coming from that fossilized amber. It is absolutely great. I wish that I would not have broke that because I would have wore it going into December right here. Colder months, snowing outside, that would have absolutely popped off when you were just embraced with cold weather. That is the warm fragrance to bring you out of it. So guys, definitely check that one out. Check all of Ryan's creations out. These have been fantastic. They are so phenomenal, so unique. They are unlike anything to put your nose on. Super, super, super great, well-blended, well-rounded fragrances. And not to mention, when you buy a full-size bottle like this, Ryan and Liberty have set up to where $10 from each full bottle sold, they donate to Operation Underground Railroad to fight against child trafficking. And that is just the damn best thing that you could possibly do. So kudos to them doing that. They're not in it for all the money. I mean, of course, everybody wants their business to help them keep the lights on, so to speak. And that's your job. But to take funds out of theirs and to donate it to such a good cause really speaks for the creations themselves and the people behind it. So guys, be sure to check that out and show them some love. 
like I say, always sample first because you never know what you're going to like or, or what something's going to smell like. You can take all my word for it that these are fantastic. But sample, and then whenever you purchase that full bottle, you know that you're doing some good behind it as well, not only benefiting yourself, but benefiting other people. So that is fantastic. Ryan Liberty, again, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. This has been a tremendous experience. Love these with everything inside of me, and that bottle will be used, I guarantee, fairly quickly, and hopefully we've got enough to carry into the uh, next fall weather. So thank you all again. If you all liked what you've seen, what you heard on this one, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like. Leave some comments. I love speaking with you guys. Leave comments. I love it. Love interaction. And stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully we're going to have the review out tomorrow for Source Adage. So be sure to stay tuned for that one. And you guys have a lovely Saturday evening and we will see you next time.